Welcome to the A to B QuickBooks Simple Start Guide on Processing Transactions. Go ahead and log into QuickBooks. It's a really good idea to log in and follow along with the video. Then go to Transactions, then Bank Transactions. The first transaction in this example is a receipt where a customer has paid one of our invoices. QuickBooks AI has automatically found a matching invoice and is suggesting that we match it. Be very careful here. Be sure that we match the receipt to the correct invoice. Then click Match. The next item is an AVG fee. This business is GST registered. Enter the supplier details. Choose the GST code and category. Here we have chosen GST and subscriptions. Next place a green tick in the left box and click post. Please note, if you are not GST registered, your screen should look like this with no GST column. Continue for the remaining transactions. Select the GST code and category, or just the category if you are not GST registered. Note that QuickBooks uses AI to suggest a category. Be sure to check this is correct and then post for each item. It's a big mistake to accept the QuickBooks suggestion without checking it. Check your purchase invoice to be sure that you only claim GST on items that charge GST. Each night, and sometimes more often, QuickBooks will import the previous transactions. You should code these at least once a week. More often is better. Log into your QuickBooks file and select Transactions from the left ribbon, then Bank Transactions and go ahead and code the transactions, GST and Category as we just did. And here's a tip. When you're on your internet banking and paying a bill, be sure to add detail in the description of the transaction. For example, in this case, we paid an invoice numbered 356 to our cleaner for $65 and added description 356 red cleaning. That detail will feed through to the bank description to help you identify the expense. If you have only a description of 356, there's a good chance you will forget the details. Also remember that you must keep all of your expense invoices for tax purposes. Physical paper copies or digital copies are both acceptable. Please remember that this has been a very basic get started guide. It's accurate at the date of recording. QuickBooks might change some menus and screens. Note that QuickBooks has lots of help. You will sometimes see a take a tour button. Click on this to learn more. If you have problems, we do offer support for our clients on a paid time basis. Alternatively, QuickBooks does provide some free resources by clicking on the question mark in the top right of your screen. Now stay tuned for our next video, how to avoid mistakes and check your file. It's really important, so don't miss it.